Today's episode of In the Trenches is brought to you by System 12 Guitar Method. Sign up today at lionroxy.com. In the Trenches with Ryan Roxy. Hello, 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 and welcome to another, not another, this is a very special episode of In the Trenches because guess what, folks? It's our tour kickoff episode. That means we're mobile. That means we're on location. And that means uh, it's a big day for the Alice Cooper camp. No doubt about it. We've been waiting for, and for the Alice Cooper fans that are out there, as you guys come on in, thank you very much. Um, again, if you are listening to us on any of the audio broadcasts of In the Trenches, we do appreciate that. But what we really want you to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, so much so that we're going to put that animation on even again. Hit that subscribe button if you're in our YouTube official channel uh, right now. It's Ryan Roxy official because we want you in on the live chat. Um, I see you guys all there. Trust me. I've been seeing you all week with the comments you've been making on the Instagram and uh you can tell you're a little bit older when you say the Instagram, but uh, I've seen you on the Facebook and the Instagram and everything. We're not on the TikTok, but we are on the YouTube and we appreciate you guys being here right now because we are celebrating our tour kickoff today. Um, big show tonight. And there are some uh, special people, uh, some of the inner circle of you will that have made the pilgrimage all the way out uh, to watch the show because at the end of the day, the Alice Cooper show uh, would not be the Alice Cooper show without all your amazing support. So whether you're watching us right now from across uh, across the pond, if you will, or in a different country, or if you're right here in Atlantic City, um, we thank you for supporting us as well. And thank you for thank you very much, Diane. Um, you know why I'm looking good? Because I shaved for the first time uh, in a week. It helps. It helps you out. It really does. And I'm going to show you. This is a hotel room. I actually had some sleep. I had some sleep today. I didn't wake up at, uh, you know, six o'clock in the morning to play golf. I got up at a reasonable hour, like around 830, um, to get prepared a little bit for this show. Um, and like I said, there's some people that have also made the pilgrimage out. I don't know if they're going to be able to come on screen or not, because one of them right now, and that's, you know, maybe I should say who it is. It is our illustrious producer. He is right now. Because I don't think anybody that's watching the conference meeting is going to be watching the podcast either. But he's he's simultaneously juggling acts right now. So I want him to come on screen and say hello and and sort of comment on this. But he's like giving giving me these hand gestures next uh, uh, backstage saying, no, no, not yet. I'm in this meeting. So he's actually co-producing it with me today. Because today, folks, I'm feeling very, very... Uh, Stefan Adika, if you will. I'm producing it myself, uh, but with the, obviously the help of Vic. But he's in the same hotel, not the same room, because we're in a very, very safe, socially distanced tour bubble. Now, I guess that's the biggest news to come out of this, um, this tour with Alice Cooper as we dip our feet back into the uh, touring world, if you will. It's been since what, January or February of 2020, when the last time um, all of us were able to get together on stage and jam Australia, New Zealand. Well, we're doing it this time very, very safe. It's very like, you know, uh, we have a COVID coordinator. Um, we're getting tested. I've been tested literally five times in the last seven days. And uh, so five negatives in a row. That's pretty good. And uh, apparently it's going to keep on going, going, going. So um, out of the gate, um, apologies if we're not going to be as, you know, intimate and social with you face to face because of this sort of COVID crazy times we're in. But that's what In the Trenches is for. Here we are, like virtually face to face. Um, we can basically talk to you, tell each other's stories via a safe internet connection, I guess, you, if, you, if you will. And we have some of the people that have made the pilgrimage 
on the show tonight and uh, that have come out and are in Atlantic City. Um, I want to see in the comments where you guys are all listening to this from. Um, but first of all, just to kick things off, and you know, just because I like to do, uh, let's go back to get forward. This is only a week, but let's go back to get forward and let's uh, talk about this last week and what's been happening. I think it was Now, am I going to be doing this or are you going to be doing it, Vic? Because I think we both hit the same button at the same time. Did we both hit the button at the same time? That's why there's a glitch. Oh, man, our production value. I'm telling you. What did we do last week? Well, if any of you have been watching the HBO special Hard Knocks, um, it was basically just getting back into the rhythm of things, getting back into like, you know, how can we interact on stage with each other? What are going to be the rules? Are we, you know, are we're not going to be sharing mics this time, but we're still going to be running around and we're still going to be going from side to side because I want to see people on stage left. I know Nita wants to see people on stage right. So we're definitely rolling around. We're just not going to be singing in each other's mics. And, and we had to go through these little protocols of like, okay, how are we doing it? How are we going to play together? Um, but the first thing I clip, I want to sort of, because I, I gathered a bunch of little clips all throughout the week, and I wanted you guys to see basically um, a little bit of what my first impression was of uh, when I was there. Um, I think it was our first dress rehearsal. So I think there's a, and now Vic, if, I know you're in, deep in a meeting right now, but I'm going to do this if that's okay. All right, I'm going to put on the clips because I think I know which clips are supposed to be on uh, this first dress rehearsal. So if you will, let's take a little look back at what happened this week. Well, Vogue's first dress rehearsal uh, is in the can. So by the time you guys watch this, we will be ready to. But it was a good one. Everybody's just sitting around taking notes, having fun. It's a good one. <laughs> so that's what we were doing. We were basically having rehearsals at the venue where we're playing tonight, which is very nice of, of the hotel, the ocean, um, nice venue, really cool place. Um, we wish more people would be wearing masks around the hallways because we're having to wear them all the time. But as we walk around, we don't see everybody doing that. But uh, because we, you know, the whole idea of this tour is to start and finish it. You know, that's the whole reason why we are being so uh, cautionary. You know, we're having over an abundance of caution we have, as Toby Mamis would say. But um, what we do is we do a run through and then um, you know, all of the ma Alice's management is here. Um, we're adding songs into the set. I'm a little Easter eggs right there. We're adding some new songs from Detroit Stories, which I think you're all are going to dig on. Um, plus, we are, um, you know, doing a couple different things with the show. So we take notes and we do this, and this is a little uh, shot of us um, basically after the first dress rehearsal. And you can see the venue, you can see every, you know, our view of what we get to see at you guys every single night. Play, hopefully there'll be people in the seats. I think there will be. I think the show's pretty much sold out. I mean, if it's just from the hardcores that are coming out for the first show, um, I think it is. But we shall see uh, tonight in just a few hours, you know, and wherever you're watching this from or whether you're watching the rebroadcast, um, hopefully everything went well. All right. so. I'm in my room right now. Um, a first person I'm going to bring out, I may mean, bring two people out that, that have made the pilgrimage all the way from Asheville. And, and is it, is it North Carolina or South Carolina? Just keep pulling me up or down. I think it's, I think it's Asheville, South Carolina. Am I right? Damn it. I don't know. I'm going to bring them on anyway, because they are hardcores. Hardcore fans that have been following us for a while, uh, they might be in the same sort of hotel room background. But again, we're all in these this sort of room, these hotel rooms uh, backdrop looking. This is not a green screen or anything. And, and you can see behind me, I've got the Never Say Never Strat right there. Um, then I got my buddy Keith's. Look at this product 
placement that I've so sneakily done. My buddy's place, Jones, Keith McCarthy, um, friends of Paul Blazik, uh, in the trenches fan favorite. But uh, and of course, Buyer Dynamic. Look at this. It's almost like we've made a real podcast show in a hotel room, which we will continue to do, by the way. We're going to try our best to get uh, in the as many In the Trenches episodes in on Fridays as we can. And again, if this is your first time checking us out and listening to us, uh, hit that subscribe button that's right there somewhere in the thing. And uh, we shall. Wow. Now I'm, I'm really on my own. Vic has left the studio. So it's just me now, folks. In fact, like I said, I was going to bring these these two gals from Asheville. I made the pilgrimage up to see the first Al Alice Cooper show. Uh, would you please welcome Heather and Jen? Come on up, guys. Hello. Hello. We also have the lovely backdrop of yes. the hotel room. Yes. I will. I will do it. Not, uh, not so much of an ocean view. <laughs> I will do what Vic says to do all the time. Turn your phone sideways. If you can. Oh, See? there you there go. We go. There we go. And now there's two of us. See, yep. yes. I can produce this, yeah. Vic. Hi. I can so produce it. A long pilgrimage. Yes. <laughs> so you're watch out, Vic. You're Vic. So how's it yeah, going? So what was it? Was an 11 hour drive up here? Yeah, 11 hour drive from Asheville, North Carolina. Not. I, I'm actually from New Jersey. From New Jersey. This is my home state. So it's cool having the home show, even though I don't live here anymore. <laughs> I'm dirty Jersey and dirty Jersey gal. Yep. Um, so let me ask you this, um, because a lot of people know the two of you, um, as the Asheville girls, but yep. you also have the man's ruin tattoo. So, yes. I mean, usually we would have a link and stuff like that up to, to man's ruin, but just tell the folks, uh, where next time they're in Asheville, where they can stop and get and pick up a tattoo or two. Yeah, we're, we're, um, pretty much right off of the downtown area and we're super busy, which we're really thankful for that because COVID definitely messed us up for quite a while, along with pretty much everybody else out there. We had to be closed and be safe. So we're actually operating by appointment only. We had the doors locked. We're super strict on mask policy. We are very, very clean about everything and very nervous about everything and keeping ourselves safe, which we've been safe the whole time and healthy. We're thankful for that. So if you want a tattoo in Asheville, just drop a, drop us a line and we'll get you on the schedule in advance. Because right now there is no walk-ins. There is no walk-ins. There is no drop-in. Just like this tour, you know, you guys have to be safe so you can work and make a living. And it's the same for us. We're, we're being cautious and a little overly cautious to make sure we can keep making a living and keep everybody else safe as well. So we can go to concerts. So we can go to concerts. Boys <laughs> everybody we miss so yes. much. Yes. So. That's true. You guys first started following us. Was it the Motley Crew tour? Uh, uh, well, yeah, kind of, but way before that I had, um, I have, I have seen Alice Cooper in the past with um, Rob Zombie a few times and. Okay. Yeah. That that was during my, uh, my sabbatical. Yes. And, yep. uh, before, you were not there. I came there. back in you 2012. Yeah. Cause I yeah. remember seeing you guys, in, on Nikki's side, which was yes. subsequently was your, Chuck's and I's side, it was it was yeah. the luck of the draw that you well, or, yeah. or maybe you planned it to get on Nikki's shows. side. Thirteen yeah. shows, thirteen shows, front row, front row, and we did see you at the Tennessee Theater. I think that was your yeah. first. Was that your? Well, not, I don't think that was your first first show back, but it was pretty close to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, enough about me. More about me. Um, <laughs> but but hold on, no full transparency. Yeah, this yeah. is about you. Full transparency. When was the last time you did a tramp stamp tattoo? <laughs> a long time it's actually been a while but i personally have rebranded the tramp stamp is the under rib boob tattoo yes because okay so, although, so, the, so the new tramp stamp in 2021 is the under rib boob tattoo yeah absolutely because how do you show that off you got to show your boobs okay so yeah so you gotta I, show I your of, under boobs i mean you, you gotta you show can't... your under boobs and you know stuff peaks out when you do that so there's a, there's a, okay. i think it's a little more a little more. Is, are you talking about the uh, the tattoo that goes here? Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh, and, and by the oh, yeah. way, uh, you know I, I normally don't wear white shirts, but uh, because of Tommy, this vicious <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Anderson, he gave me this shirt. I was. Cool. It looks nice. I, yeah. I was very lucky to be at the right place at the right time because Tommy was cleaning out his wardrobe case. Nice. And nice. Uh, I just happened to like you know he goes he goes all this sucks. sucks. I'm going to get new new wardrobe for everybody. I'm going to get a new wardrobe for myself, and then you get something so you can have this shirt. 
Sixty dollars shirt. It's a sixty dollars shirt. <laughs> I don't know why I sound like Larry David doing uh, Tommy, but no, it's you know, Billy it's like, it said, sounds like it. it was good. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So. Now you're coming out tonight. Are you coming out to any more shows on this tour? Yeah, we actually we're going to be in New Hampshire tomorrow night as well, and then uh, we're going to head home. We'll be at Nashville, Montgomery, and Charlotte. We we lessened this up a little bit because of COVID as well. I mean, honestly, but you're still making road trips. You're still making. We are, and we're here because we love you, and we love the band so much. We love Alice too, but it really is about you guys. It's about you guys. Bring it every night. You work really hard, and it shows. And we're willing to risk our lives yeah. to see no. you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. honestly, I, the, the fact of being in the crowd right now is scary. I mean, I know it's scary for you guys too, but for us, it's it's no. it's not. As the you first. can see, I can show you, I can show you the three different styles of masks that yep. we have just in my room just right now. And I can also show you the one that you gave me last night. Then yes, when I saw you quickly, masks. that was a nice one as well. We have so. N95 masks. We actually got prepared for the show. Yeah, because for the we show. bought our thicker ones that are nice, properly fitted around uh, here to make sure it's. That's what we wear. We'll be wearing that tonight. Yeah. Even we are front row tonight. We, but even with that said, we will be in N95s because honestly, I just feel that's the way to go. I know. I, I feel that I'm going to have to get used it. to this. I, I feel like I'm going to have to get used to this. I, <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm cool with that. People will hear me sing less, which is yes. probably good. I'm a drummer for a reason. I'm no <laughs> you are a drummer by trade. Uh, Vic, do we have a, a clip of uh, her playing drums right now? Oh, oh Lord, actually, no. Vic's not here. If he's Vic, not ah, here. See? Yeah. But no, and That's no, what I so always do. You can't I hear mean, me sing over those. And with a mask, you can't hear me either. And that's probably a good thing. <laughs> well... I want to thank you guys for coming on. Thank you for making yes. uh, the road trip. And of course, stay safe out in the audience. We'll do yeah, our best absolutely. to Thanks stay safe on awesome. stage. And yeah. um, of course, we've got this now, even though for this small tour, we might not have like, you know, face to face meet and greets. We've got this. And I've actually come up with an idea that we're going to be doing like, even when we have other episodes of In the Trenches, we're going to have little road reports. So I'll get people to, you know, people from the band to sort of talk about what they're up to, what they're hawking. For instance, like like Chuck gave me this last night, ah. his latest CD, ah, DVD, DVD is, oil. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we'll get him to come on the, uh, the, the podcast I, at I one time. I think you should ask Shep about getting a Pope Mobile. If you get a Pope Mobile... You can parade around the lobby areas and get coffee safely, and you can wave to everybody like a yeah. parade float. That would be a Pope mobile. Consider it. The Pope has one. I think it's if it's good enough for the Pope, it's good enough for Okay, Alex. so you're saying the Pope mobile, we could do the coupe mobile or the something like that. Mobile. We could put uh, bats on it. We can make it real cool. Make it even like coffin shaped. Cooper does. Uh, we got to come up with a good name. Good maybe, in the, maybe in the comments we can find out what, what, the, what the right name of this thing would be. All right? Yes. yes. But th thank you, guys. Heather and Jen, we love you guys. Thank you very much we for coming out. Too. We'll you see you thank again, you. okay? Awesome. Cannot wait. See ya. There you go. And I, I, that wasn't so bad, was it? Where's Vic? He's still, he's still in his meeting. That's okay. I did that all by myself. So now it's time for another little clip. Because I was telling you, I'm going to start showing these clips on the road reports of this tour kickoff special, uh, which first show is tonight, folks. So um, a lot of first happened this last week. Um, I've got my um, I got my driver's license renewed because I had to fly all the way to Los Angeles just to get my driver's license renewed. And so I'm good to drive for another five years. Um, what else happened? NFL season kicked off and. Uh, my Raiders did something on Monday night, which was pretty, pretty impressive. So many great games, by the way, folks, um, which leads me to believe that we'll have definitely more episodes of ball talk as the uh, tour progresses as well. But um, I can see in the comments, actually, I can't, I'm completely lying, but I'm going to just segue into this anyway, that uh, hotel rooms, you guys are w wondering about what the room is about. And there's, my, like I said, there's the never say never strat there that I can practice in the room and, uh, you know, use my Hughes and Kentner little practice black spirit to, to have every single night before I go on and, um, you know, just get, get the set list under the belt, but people want to know about the room itself. And so I took a little clip of that and, uh, here is my first impression of the room here in the lovely Atlantic city ocean hotel. You have no idea how nice it feels to be in our own hotel room again. Hello, old friend. 
all my stuff laid out there. Guitar on the bed. Oh, I'm gonna be sleeping very nicely very soon. And there we are, out in the world of Atlantic City. We'll see you at the show soon. I am off to backstage. Okay, so maybe it wasn't in chronological order, but you saw basically what I do every single day when I go into a hotel room, especially on tour when we have a day off. And I know Bianca's going to, she's already texting me like, really? Are you that happy you're in your own hotel room? <laughs> this week I am. Because you know what? I got to lay all my stuff out. I got to lay all my things out, you know, as you saw um in that clip, that's what I usually do. You know, I spread it all out, kind of make my, make it home for at least 24 hours. Um, and I stick up and which I'm going to do now live on this podcast. Um, I'll take, usually take a glass of water like this. And then I take my regiment of my daily supply of pills. And because Heather and Jen are still backstage, they can tell me if this is cool or not thumbs up or thumbs down, but here it is. My 55 plus multiple vitamin, that's the first thing that I take. All right, folks, which I'm sort of being a little bit uh, very transparent about my age. Am I 55 plus? Hell yes, I am. But I shaved, so it doesn't look it today, but it will tomorrow. Hold on. Ah, and then I have my biotin. That's the second thing that I have. Is biotin good for us? And yeah, I'm getting a thumbs up from Heather and Jen. You didn't think this was going to become a health show, did you? It's not. I tell you, it's not just entertaining. It's educational as well. Because um, what kind of vitamins are you guys all on and supplements and stuff like that to uh, just stay healthy and stuff? What I've been doing for um, workouts and stuff like that is uh, it, I haven't seen the gym at this hotel. I heard it's nice. Officer Burkholder is here as well. And she said that it's very, very um good gym, but I've been golfing. I've been golfing at the crack of dawn with Alice and Chuck. It's been, it's been really fun. Uh, although they kicked my ass the last two days yesterday, I had a great day. So here we go. This is my biotin. I don't want people to think this is like a show about Molly and raves and stuff like that. And cause I just took this bill. Um, here's something new that I got. This is a, a tip from uh, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Hendrickson. Uh, these are NAD, uh, true niagen NAD. Is that good? Am I, oh, I'm getting another thumbs up from Heather and Jen. So I take two of these a day. I don't know why I'm showing you my vitamin regimen, but uh, maybe you should and supplement regimen. But you know what? Joe Rogan probably does it. So why not me? He ta or at least talks about it all the time. So here we go. My NAD. What if someone did slip some Molly in some of these pills? I would be <laughs> really on point for tonight's show, wouldn't I be? Mm. Ah, okay. And for those of you listening on the audio broadcast, you're just hearing me going, mm, ah, no, it's not one of those types of uh, podcasts, although I'm sure you could find it on the uh, internet and World Wide Web somewhere. And here's my next one. <laughs> yes, he's still taking vitamins, folks. Um, Zinc. I'm getting another thumbs up from it. There you go. Oh, shit. Never got my mic. But take just one little zinc a day. And uh, apparently zinc is good for a lot of things. Um, I don't I don't know what however you call it. But uh, for those of you that are in the know, uh, one time my buddy Mike Fizzano, who is a uh, In the Trenches fan favorite, he asked Peter North what his secret was. And uh, Peter North said one thing. He said zinc. So if you know who Peter North is and what he's famous for, well, if you don't, Google it. And so zinc is good for a lot of things, but there's some zinc. And I know you're saying, how can he swallow pills so easily? That's called the early 90s, folks. The late 80s and the early 90s. Ha <laughs> ha. New York City, baby. All right. And my last of my um, vitamin regimen is... And, I, and I'm not endorsed with any of these companies. I just, uh, yet, but I'm not endorsed uh, with anybody. But this vitamin D, K2, I'm getting thumbs up from Heather and Jen, who are very, they've turned me on to a lot of these uh, supplements in the past. So um, 
there you go. And that was another Tommy uh, Hendrickson sort of um, advising. All things to sort of stay healthy on the road, stay healthy at home. And um, let me see if I can do this one. I, <laughs> you know I'm going to gag on one of them at least. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, uh, that one's a little bit larger and not so easy to go down, but it's done. Mm. So those are all the pills that I take um, and uh, supplements to stay healthy. And I think vitamin D has actually uh, been one of the big ones that they've said that uh, keeps you sort of straight with the the big C, the big vid. But like I said, tested five times in the last seven days. I'm good to go for tonight and uh, will continue to remain uh safe as I as safe as I can in this crazy world and uh we'll go from there man it's weird doing a, a, a podcast with just not a special guest to talk to because it's just me 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 but uh you know what I'm gonna switch that up right now because instead of me 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 let's have a little clip of Tommy talking about one of his new guitars. Um, I, I was able to catch him on stage last night. I wanted to catch some of these guys. Um, I didn't think I caught everybody in the band, um, but like I said, in upcoming episodes, I'm going to have some road reports uh, where we'll get everybody in their sort of natural habitat uh, of being on stage and stuff. But I got Tommy right after one of our rehearsals, and he was super excited about his new guitar. So here you go, folks. Here's a little message from Tommy and his new SG. How about that? It's all right. That's what I'm doing. It's all right. Oh, I was doing that one too. It's all right. There you go. It's all right. That's good chord. All right. That practicing harmonies for you. Okay. Thanks. Oh, completely. Because I'm not the producer and I never claim to be, we have a producer. I put up the wrong clip, but that's okay because that's us practicing it's a little again a little foreshadowing you saw uh, mademoiselle guillotine there a little special appearance uh by her that uh one of the songs we're practicing some harmonies for so those of you in the chat figure out what song that is and maybe if you're here in atlantic city you might hear it tonight you just might and instead i will get to tommy i promise you i will but here's a little message from cheryl because that goes right there <laughs> yes. <laughs> there you go. And and all you can say is that she, it's just hundred percent Cheryl Cooper and uh Mademoiselle Guillotine. And of course, you know that Cheryl uh I'd I'd like to say the fifth Beatle, but we already have what five band members and Coop. So she is the seventh Cooper. How about that? Second Cooper, well, you know, on the tour. But uh, she's like our uh, all-around handy woman. She's, she's in charge of all the bit parts, all the dancing, all the choreography. And she sings like an angel. And um, when you hear us tonight, everybody in the front line singing, there is no tapes. So if, if it sounds, you know, if there's an off-key note, hey, that's rock and roll. But Cheryl's behind a mic as well. When she's not busy putting on wigs and doing all this kind of stuff, she's there too. So um, we give Cheryl a lot of credit for being a huge part of, of this band as well. So thank you very much, Cheryl, for making a quick appearance. And uh, we'll see Mademoiselle Guillotine tonight, of course. And um, what else we got here? I am going to get to that Tommy clip. You guys want to hear it because the, the people in the chat are demanding that they hear from Tommy. I just had Starbucks with him down um, down the hallway. I know everybody here on the podcast today and everybody here in the band is probably busy cleaning up their rooms because we're checking out today. And um, I say, hey, man, if you, if you want to drop by and you can, great. If not, don't worry. I got your clips. I'm going to tell all good words because you're all sort of fan favorites. They've all been on the podcast. If anybody wants to check out any of the band members of the Alice Cooper band um, on a previous episode, um, just go check out Ryan Roxy official on the uh, YouTube channel and just hit that subscribe button. Usually Vic would put the subscribe button animation up yet, but 
you know what? He's still in a meeting. He's gone. He ghosted me. I'm all by myself out here, but I'm not because I got you guys. I'm friends with you guys and you guys are supporting the podcast, supporting the band. And thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. But here's Tommy talking about his guitar and supporting his guitar for sure. Hopefully I'll get this clip right. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy here. There it oh, is. That's me, man. Now, is, is, it, is this a new one yes. coming out? Yeah. We got the Evertune. Oh, yeah. Solo Dallas pickups. Put all your endorsements in there right now. I don't have any endorsements, actually. You bought this. I got to pay for Evertune. Um, he loves it. Solo Dallas Phil hooked me up. And... Brian, what's the guy's the company again in St. Louis that does all the insides here? This is Brib. He's very rarely oh, caught on guitar tape. Work? Oh, guitar Works, dude. I have that in here, too. I took all the guts out of this. RS Guitar Works down there. Did all, put all the guts in. Phil gave me pickups. That's like a Bigfoot sighting to have Brib on, on, on video. I made it look more like Angus. You know, and oh, I love it. Neck's a little fat. You know what I mean? When you feel this, it's a little fat. But I don't mind it, dude. And you know what? I'm putting nines on here because I watched Rick Beato's YouTube bit. And he was talking about heavy gauge strings and light gauge strings with his guys. And I did the test at my house on the studio. And I was like, you know what? The bottom end's tighter. Thank you, Mr. Rick. There it is. That was Guitar Time with Tommy. I think you should have a new segment in the show. Guitar time with Tommy. I'm Tommy, not a real Tommy. Guitar player, though, man. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. This guy loves you. <laughs> he loves you. You know what, man? This guy needs to get. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> so there you go. There's a, a guitar time with Tommy. How many of you people want it? Do the, do the people demand it? Maybe it could be a little spin off uh, podcast like The Ropers um or you know do you guys know what i'm talking about what now this is what really separates generations all right because yesterday we were in the room this is doing vocal rehearsals and we realized that certain generations have no idea what the fuck i'm talking about when I have these old references and there's a lot of it's seventies TV. So that last reference, the Ropers was from three's company. And we were trying, you know, this is a little trivia question. You can ask people to sort of separate the generations, if you will. And again, Alice Cooper uh, fans and followers definitely span the generations. There's generations. I, I could see three different generations at a show. I'm waiting to see that fourth generation come. I want to see little kid, you know, parent, grandparent and great grandparent because that's happening but my question to you is can you name the uh two sort of well if, if you guys know what three's company was about it was a, a very at that time taboo show about two uh straight girls living with another straight guy but they couldn't because it was against some sort of rules that the apartment building had so the guy had to pretend that he was gay in order to live in this apartment. I, I'm not this. I can't make this shit up. Dude. This is this was a script. They sold it to Hollywood, and it would never even make first cut in 2021. Probably people wouldn't. They just wouldn't get it. But the landlords was two different landlords. One were the Ropers, and and Mr. Roper. Who was the second? You can say his acting name in the chat, or you can say his real name in the chat. And then I'll, I'm going to like look and actually check out the chat and see if you guys are following along at home. A little trivia, huh? Well, there you go. John Ritter, somebody, some, that, that was the uh, first one got it. Mr. Furley, Steve Haney. Yes, Mr. Furley was the second landlord. It was Mr. Roper, Mrs. Roper, Mr. Furley, Matt Man. Don Knotts. There he is. And right now, this would be a normal episode. If it was a normal In the Trenches episode, Vic would put up some sort of shot of Mr. Furley or something like that. But here goes my second trivia question of how to break up uh, these generations, because I found this generation gap in our own band. Of course, I'm talking about uh, the child that is in our band, uh, in Nita Strauss, because yesterday, Chuck and I, and I believe it was Tommy and Cheryl. We're all in the room. And Nita was there too. But we're all talking about Welcome Back, Cotter. 
and she just gives us this blank stare and she goes what's that and we just looked at her like what's welcome back cotter are you kidding me I mean, at first he did in the first chuck this is a great Vinny Barbarino. you know he does his um, i wish i had caught that on tape because uh he did v Vinny Barbarino impression and then we tried to go through all the names of the characters in Welcome Back, Cotter. So I'm again, I'm asking you out there in the chat. This is why you don't always want to listen to us on the audio broadcast, which I'm really happy to. Uh, but we want you in the live stream chat. Who was the characters um, names of the Welcome Back, Cotter series? And I'll tell you in a second. Let's see. Let's see who comes up with them. Well, Mr. Cotter. Well, Welcome Back, Cotter. That's kind of an easy softball one. All right. Um, that's Kitty Oates uh, that says that. And uh, yes, John Travolta played the uh, the role of Vinnie Barbarino. And um, then Epstein, there was another one, Juan Epstein. He was the Puerto Rican character in the show. Horshack. What was Horshack's first name? Huh? And uh, Bobby Bonarino. Wow, you guys are going deep down the welcome back Cotter rabbit hole. But through all of this, <laughs> Nita has this blank stare and she's like, What what's I have no idea what you guys are talking about? So there you go. Welcome back, Cotter is the Lipnitz test to see which generations uh, you know, where that generation break is. And then she kind of she said, Well, I have my own welcome back Cotter. And it was like some sort of, I believe it was like a Disney Channel like show because we explained the situation it was like a teacher that came back to school and helped and mentored all these other students and it was a good thing and then she mentioned this disney channel thing so, oh well that was like my thing and I, was, and I had no idea what that was so there you go freddie boom boom washington flying on out <laughs> is flying on out a another code word for moving on up because the jeffersons that's a whole nother bag can of worms that i can open up but i'm i'm not going to do it right now i'm going to play more um i'm having too much fun doing this i can't believe i've been chatting and chatting my little mouth off for almost almost a half an hour you guys are all in there hanging in the trenches with me i appreciate it um because we're celebrating the tour kickoff is tonight and um guess what i'm going to do a quick quick commercial break um with our good friends that are powering all our stuff up today as always, the Hughes and Kentner folks, they're powering me up on stage with my guitar amps and um, backstage getting ready for the show. But when I do the podcast and what I'm listening to myself with and I'm hearing myself with, it's biodynamic. So check it out. Here you go. I'll be back in about 30 seconds. Hello, Ryan Roxy here, host of the In the Trenches podcast. And I also play guitar for Alice Cooper. I just wanted to take a second to talk about what mic you're hearing me speak through and what headphones I choose to listen to all my audio with. My go-to podcast and live performance mic is this TG V70 Dynamic Vocal Mic. And when I'm recording acoustic stuff, I'll always mic it up with the Bayer Dynamic M160 Double Ribbon Mic. I listen to everything with the DT1770 Pro headphones, unless I'm out and about. That's when the Aventa Wireless headphones really make listening to music, podcasts, or any other audio app that's on my phone ultra high fidelity and latency free. Check out their official site or the links below in the description of this video to find out more about what makes Bayer Dynamic a musician's choice in pro audio mics and headphones. Now, let's get back into the trenches for some more rock and roll. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the ride. There you go. And through that little break that we had, I had a chance to check out some of the comments. And I see that my wife's getting no acknowledgement. She's watching. I had no idea she'd be watching right now. So B, I miss you. I love you. But I'm very happy in this hotel room. As you know, I get to sleep as late as I want today. Today. All right. I'm, I'm saying in a week, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be, you know that. I'll be like longing to come back. But there it is. Um, I love you, babe. And uh, I will see you soon. And there's your acknowledgement. How about that? <laughs> Guess who's back? We got a producer again. Oh, he's not. Is he shaking his head? Does he want to come back? You want to come on the air real quick and say hello? All right. Apparently, our producer, he's backstage again. But I'm looking at a few people backstage. Maybe we'll bring on another. Well, I'd say pretty much uh, in the trenches, sort of iconish uh, type character. She's been learning all our parts. She's been, you know, she started off with the guitar and then she started learning, you know, my, my parts. And then she learned Tommy's parts. 
And then she um, started playing bass, learned some Chuck parts. Um, and does she know something we don't know? Is she going to be our alternate in case anything happens? I'm telling you, I'm staying in the bubble, staying in the bubble, Officer B. And then she started learning drums as well. So I want to bring um, now this is crazy because she sent me an email a couple months back and said, you know what? I'm thinking about going to all the shows. And I was like, yeah, I am. I'm thinking about going to all the shows too. Cause I'm going to actually be there. And then she goes, no, I'm serious. So when I saw her this morning, um, when I, when I, when I saw her in the uh, hotel lobby this morning, she says, no, I'm still coming to all these shows. Of course, you know, she's going to keep her, her six foot, 10 foot radius distance that we have in, in our uh, COVID safe bubble, but we want to bring her on here so she can be face to face with us right now, because she is going to be a big part of uh, the sort of uh, tour that we have because she'll be following every single show. And like Heather and Jen are going to New Hampshire tomorrow, so will Officer B. So here coming to the program on the end of trenches, getting in the trenches with us is Officer Susan Burkholder. Hello, Susan. What's hey, happening? The eerily familiar <laughs> hotel room backdrop. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like you got, How's your, what's your view like? Uh, same as yours, but a lot lower. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, I don't, I don't think it's a status thing. I just think they kind of just put, I just asked for a room away from Glenn Sobel. <laughs> I think everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does that. yeah. but that's because he does practice his drums nonstop. So instead, instead I got a room on a floor that just happened to be like a, a child care center because i saw these kids running around the hallway and it, you know what a couple a couple months ago i used to think you know kids were cute and you know running, oh that's nice now they're just petri dishes yeah now it's just like you know they're just <laughs> and, I, and i'm walking around you know like, oh, shit. <laughs> there it goes all the whole fucking the whole show's messed up no but i'm walking around like this with the mask and everything it's just you know trying to get by little kids hey don't get me started on the swimming pool which oh, I haven't been there. to, by the way. It's not closed. Going there. It's closed. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, you worked out, right? You went to the yeah. gym today. Yeah, it was Good? nice. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, welcome to the tour, Officer B. You're going to be Finally. with us. Yeah, you're going to be with us. Are you excited about it? Oh hell yeah! I don't have to be at work. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I've been counting cool. down since God, since these dates were announced. Yeah. You know what? For those of you that don't know, Officer B is uh, one of our proud and uh, brave officers from the Washington D.C. area. Yes. So wait, is someone is is someone's knocking at my door? Even with my <laughs> "Do Not Disturb" button on. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Hello. We're checking out later. Four o'clock, I believe. Check with the management. Thank you. <laughs> There you go. That can only happen <laughs> on a live uh, in the trenches because I guess I'm, I'm here past checkout time, but we have a special deal where we're checking out later. Huh? Well, all right. So you got, I, I assume that everybody's going to the show tonight is checked in and you're, you're leaving for New Hampshire tomorrow. Yeah. I'm not driving tonight. <laughs> That's too long. No, no. Is that, how, how long is the drive for you? Uh, I think it's about six and a half, seven hours. Damn, you guys are troopers, man. You guys are troopers. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> and um, and sort of supporting it. I, I do like New Hampshire. Anybody that's watching watching us from uh, from uh, New Hampshire area, we'll be ready. We'll be ready tomorrow. We got three in a row. Right out of the gate, the tour starts off with three shows in a row. Um, and it's almost more like seven shows in a row because we've been doing um, dress rehearsal after dress rehearsal and then straight into the show. So. We'll be ready, you know. Um, what's happening with the, you learning all the instruments? What, what do you know that we don't know? Uh, <laughs> or do, you, was, do you just like doing it or what's happening? I just wanted to see if I could. Yeah, I mean, bass, I wouldn't really call myself a bass player. I play like a big guitar with four strings, so I try. Yeah. Um, drums, they just look like fun and a good workout, so I tried. Okay. All right. So, and are you eventually going to be learning the entire set? Or are you going to put together? <laughs> now, how many songs have you put together where you play all the instruments? Uh, I did Poison, that one video. Um, there's a couple more I probably could do, like some easier ACDC stuff. Or, okay. Uh, but I just haven't. As far as Alice, I started Schools Out on drums, but I'm not there yet. 
Okay. Okay. Well, see, the thing is, I, I there's a couple of the in the trenches in System Twelve faithful that have been um, sort of doing Alice Cooper songs and putting them together, like Nicholas uh, from Sticks and Stones. Nick yeah. from Sticks and Stones. Um, they they put together a version of Roses on White Lace. Did you check that one out? Yeah, that was awesome. I love that. Yeah, I had to learn some of my parts <laughs> from that video, folks. <laughs> I had to, to refresh myself. I actually used Nick's video. It's like, oh, that's how I played it. You should it, do the I Kane think. Roberts challenge video you made with Tommy backstage a couple years ago. You know what? Only an old schooler that had been to all those <laughs> shows and watched all of Tommy's videos. Yeah, the Kane Roberts uh That's how I challenge. <laughs> Let me ask, let me tell you this. Here's a little sneak uh, thing that I don't, haven't told that many people about. I recorded the guitar parts for World Needs Guts that's supposed to have a version coming out with um, Kane and Kip Winger. <laughs> there you go. I, I did my parts. Now it's up to Kane to finish his parts, but he was the one that got in touch with me about it. So um, that's one of those songs, man. World Needs Guts is a good one. Um, but like I said, there'll be th there'll be some new songs in in the set. I mean, I think there's actually three or up uh, maybe three new songs that are coming that we that we even put in the set. And it's not like we uh, cut other songs. We just actually I think a, a, did addition. So we're actually playing a little bit of a longer show. So. There you go. That's you know, fun. come come on out to the show and check it out for yourself. Um, hey, man, opening night. There's always some little hiccups of like with new songs. I'm always a little bit worried. I mean, you know, the other one, like Poison and School's Out and, you know, you Nice Guy. Sleep. Yeah, pretty much play it in your sleep. But there's some new choreo chore choreography. Choreogra choreography. Oh, choreography. Thank you very much, Susan. <laughs> She's not only an officer in Washington, D.C. and protects us um, at the Capitol, but she also um, is my linguist, apparently, my <laughs> linguistics teacher. <laughs> I can't talk so good. Choreography. <laughs> you make my eyes rain. Wow. <laughs> But thanks for coming out and uh, uh, coming on the tour. Welcome yep. to the road, and um, yep. we'll have you back in. You know what? We might have to send you out. Okay, you know what, Vic? I have a, I have an idea. Uh, a lot of times, just ideas come while I'm doing the podcast, you know, and maybe Dennis DeYoung is channeling my energy or I'm channeling <laughs> his, but um, I'm thinking we're going to have to have, like football games have, you know, they send it down to the field. And they have sort of reporter that's on the field. I'm gonna, you're gonna actually be our in the trenches, <laughs> in the crowd reporter, okay. and you can you can ask some questions to actual people that are at the shows. <laughs> and so I can stay in this, you know, in the safety in the bubble, of our yeah. of our COVID bubble, and then you can be sort of the one risking it every single <laughs> uh, Friday, like you do every single day for us. It's uh, just another know, day to me. As an as an <laughs> officer, as an officer of the law. I love it. Officer B, our new, <laughs> our new, we have to come up with a good name for it yeah. though. She'll, she will be our in the trenches, uh, on-site reporter, revolving reporter, <laughs> Chris Vickery, always coming up with that stuff. Wow. Chris, how you doing buddy? All right. Well, thanks for coming on. We'll see you tonight. Okay. Uh, we'll see I'll you somewhere that. in the night. Thanks I'll again. That. That's officer B. I'm going to remove her now. See? Vic, I can do this. I can do this. He's smiling. Give me a thumbs up, Vic, if you're all good to your thumbs up now. Okay, folks. He's also made the trip. He's also not, he's not just my producer. He's he likes to uh, spend lots of money on rent -a cars. Apparently that his wife is going to sort of get him a little bit later about, but here he is. Vic shelf our producer. Come on air. Say hello to everybody. Come on. Hey, now that room looks eerily familiar to everybody yeah. now. <laughs> Man, I'm so sorry. I had to, I was watching you. I don't know what you were doing, popping all the pills. Dude, let me tell you something. I thought it ran damn smooth. Did it? What do the people say? I don't know. I just, how is, I, all how I how see is this self production? Is like Roxy Pharmacy going on. <laughs> Roxy Pharmacy. <laughs> I love it. Love it. So, what's happening, man? Welcome yeah. to, uh, welcome to the road. Are you excited about tonight's show? Very excited. Yeah, it seems like it's, it's it's almost more like it's it's fun to see people uh, that have been following the band get together as much as it's, as as nice for us to get together and play music because hopefully that exchange of us playing the songs and you guys giving us back the great energy and then you guys being able to hang out um, 
with each other, you know, in a place. Obviously, I've got, I've got Storm Chasers bags up here in my room. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. See, this is like you guys are gonna you're gonna know these characters just like the way you know the characters of Welcome Back, Cotter and um, Three's Company by the end of this run because there are some certain characters that that, that go with the Alice Cooper camp. There's no doubt about it. You know, you got Officer B, you got Man's Ruin tattoo, and there it is, Vic. He had to find it. Were you? Yeah, I was. I was working even though I was having to do my job. Go and put I that also up again. Went out and got you some pills that I thought you might like. Oh, oh, that's is. the other one. That's the other one that I was getting. Well, now, what do you call that? Queratin? Do, I have no idea what this is. Massive thumbs up from she Heather up and Jen. House and says, "Bring to Ryan Roxy." That was another uh, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Um, <laughs> someone's taking their Norco. I don't believe. Isn't that the thing that? Uh, is that the, your horse tranquilizer or something? Yeah, I think that's actually a Michael Jackson sort of um, sleep aid, Norco. I don't know if it was, but yeah, I won't be taking Norco. I don't, I can't. I have the opposite effect of that kind of stuff, you know? Um, have you got any hints on the set list for tonight? Ooh, ooh, Can yes. I know, I, I know the whole thing. Well, I already said there's going to be at least three new songs, all right? At least three new songs added to the set added to the set of course you're going to find all the classics um <laughs> the last time someone got so excited about pills it was the 80s yes franzi that is true it was the late 80s and my favorite band at that time happy mondays i'll let you guys fill in the blanks <laughs> i love the manchester scene by the way um but yeah the, as far as tonight's set list um you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of the classics, but you're also going to see a mix of old and new. And um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, it's, I'm really happy with the way the band is uh, put, has been putting the stuff together, you know, the three guitar player lineup. I thought, you know, would we miss a step when we came back and did this? And I don't feel we have, I, I feel everything's going to like sort of go off with a hitch. A lot of those old classics ones, like officer B had mentioned, they're in our backbone. Since that we you know doing that Motley Crue tour for two years, you know, billion dollar babies, we go in our sleep, you know. But uh, you know, I heard her mention the uh, Kane Roberts challenge. The yeah, yeah, you wanted to do that another challenge. We we're gonna probably start doing some more challenges backstage and stuff, and then we'll we'll put it in with the uh, Roxy Road report, and then our you know our new in the field in the trenches. Um, revolving i don't know what the title we gave officer b to be in the you know there to, but yeah detroit story tunes yes matt ma'am there will be some there will be some i can confirm that i don't want to be like one of those guys up on the podium saying uh confirm or deny and hold on folks if you want a little quick ball talk raiders plus sick against pittsburgh um does that see i never understand odds like that i never understand odds like that look at what officer b is doing <laughs> Yeah, Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be a tough game on Sunday, uh, Pittsburgh against the Raiders. But I think I think we're the underdogs right now because we're we have a short week. We're flying all the way to Pittsburgh. But you know what? You don't like so much uh, the NFL, Vic, do you? You're more of a college guy, aren't you? Yeah, I like I like college football a little bit better. Mm -hmm. What is I that? Know. Gives us nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm all into fantasy football now, dude. I'm all into the fantasy football. Yeah, that's a little, I don't know. I know, I made that leap. I, you know what, I made that leap. You'll be, you'll be doing Dungeons and Dragons next week. That's my son's job. He, <laughs> he, he, I, that, that's the one carryover from di different generations. My son has these Dungeons and Dragons parties with his with his dude, you know, over in Sweden and stuff. And I I never was into it. Were you, were you a Dungeons and Dragons guy? Yeah, I, I played it. Never played it. Same. Never, never played it. But and I'd never done a, a proper fantasy football league. I tried to do it with Bianca and her family, and then basically, you know, you're not in a good fantasy football league when the person that doesn't ever make a trade or doesn't do change anything or doesn't show up to the draft, just everything's automated, puts it on they autopilot. Win the they win the whole thing. Yeah. And here I am trying to, you know, figure out, okay, who's who's injured this week? Who's could I switch out? No. But now I got into a league with uh, Paul Blazik, you know Paul, yeah. and um, and his buds, and I think it's going to actually be good because it, you know, it was a, a healthy buy-in. It was a hundred-dollar buy-in, ten teams. Winner's going to win like 
close to a thousand bucks. So it makes it worth, there's skin in the game, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's look at some of the, a few more clips that we have and then uh, we'll skedaddle and get out of, uh, get let everybody start getting ready for the show and stuff like that. But I wanted to show, um, show the room. Oh, oh, you know what I wanted to get in here? Because we, I was talking with Officer B about her learning all these instruments. Um, I wanted to get the one guy who's always in hotel rooms playing on, you know, couches and pieces of furniture and this and that. I wanted to get him in his natural habitat behind the drums. So I was able to catch uh, Glenn Sobel yesterday on stage He's and talk. in the kitchen. <laughs> or his kitchen with the, the 80s decor. Sort of the, um, you know, the Three's Company set, on, on set of Three's Company. But here you go with uh, a little Glenn Sobel uh, talking drums. Look where we found Glenn Sobel. Behind oh his God. drums. There he We're is. Back. Oh, I don't believe it. In the trenches fan favorite, Glenn Sobel. Are we dreaming? We're back. First show tomorrow. The gear feels awesome and beautiful. And we're rehearsing. We're rehearsing our asses off. So... Who's Thanks the man tonight. behind the drummer? Is it him? No, it's not. It's Michael. He ra he doesn't like to be on film, but there it is. There's I'm, the back I'm of his head. Him. There's the back of his head. No. But he's a long time listener, Michael is, isn't he? <laughs> You're killing it with this podcast, dude. Well, hey, there he is. A sighting. A Michael sighting. I love it. That was the last drum tech. <laughs> There's more crew guys that are helping out with this whole thing. So this is your this is your new kit. What? New, well, sort of, but not really. It's the it's the kit that everybody knows. It's the Back DW, the, the comfort zone. Yeah. To, tell us about the companies, DW and, and Sabian, right? Sabian, DW, Evans, Drumheads, Gibraltar Hardware with this awesome rack. Uh, God, what else? Uh, Humesburg cases, Porter and Davies thrones. Am I missing anything? Uh, Vader drumsticks. Yeah. How do you play drums without sticks? And two sponsors, your wallet chain. Do you have that one yet? I've had this chain a long time. <laughs> you don't have a sponsorship for it? <laughs> it's pragmatic. <laughs> Ain't about fashion. Well, this is drum world, dude. This is Glenn Sobel. We'll see you tomorrow night. There. Perfect. There you go. And uh, that was what, what can you say? Glenn has every single endorsement except a uh, wallet chain endorsement. I have to apologize to everybody for the sound quality and the video quality <laughs> being turned wrong on those. Our cameraman for those shoots was, uh, I don't know. God. All right, yeah, I got it, I got he it. A, he was Let's a go human guy. So, so, from now on, so from now on, I do this, right? When I'm filming instead of this. Oh, wow, I just Heather did Heather and Jen even got that, come on. I just did this and Bianca got, even sent me a text. Hold on, what did she said? She's on her way home. Okay, there it is. But she's already been in the chat. Oh, I guess I haven't checked my messages since this podcast started. I'm in trouble. <laughs> nah, she's supportive. It's good. Um, like I said, everybody's been supportive of each other, especially you guys, the fans that are in supporters and followers and everything uh, that have been so patient with us getting this back on the road. Um, we do appreciate you um, and your understanding with us uh, sort of dipping our toe back into this touring world. We're trying to take it as, like Glenn Sobel said, pragmatic and um, safe as possible. So that's why we will have things like uh, in the trenches podcast where we can still communicate with each other, but um, on from this tour, rooms. yeah, from, from different rooms that look the same. <laughs> I love it. And um, I'm not sure if anybody saw the thing I posted up the other day. So I'm going to put it up real quick because this was from on stage. And um, it was about uh, the Hughes and Kettner family because there are going to be uh, a lot of giveaways and uh, sort of events in the next couple um, months that while we're on tour will be coinciding with Hughes and Kettner. So check this out. Hello, Ryan Roxy here from the Alice Cooper Band. Just hanging out with some friends on stage getting ready for the Alice Cooper Tour 2021. Now check out Hughes and Kentner's social media sites as well as my own for giveaways and uh, special events and who knows what. Big rock show's about ready to begin. We'll see you out there. Do you notice the difference when I don't shave? I Thank you. The sound. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Why are you going to just beat me up? I, I just know. Have to give Landscape shit. audio. I'm glad Landscape to actually audio. see you in person. It, right. It's nice to actually be 
Nirvana. How did your conference meeting go? How did your oh, office meeting go? Dude, I think that they found that we're doing this podcast at this time. And so now they're going to schedule Friday meetings at exactly noon. You were the one that said I we know, wanted to I'm change gonna, it. I'm going to put the well, on it. Well, it'll, it'll, it'll we'll work it out. Good. We'll work it out. You know, just we'll work it out just the same way. Oh, why am I getting the echo? Is that you? Do I have to like, do I have to, uh, Dennis, be- Dennis de Young, you? Okay, <laughs> hold on one second. Now I'm working it out just the way Nita is working out her guitar solo, and I caught a quick glimpse of her. Um, I think she would be happy because she sounds great in it if I played this really quick clip of her. And, you know, like I said, we're going to get um, the band members in their natural habitat as the weeks go on. And um, let's see if I can find her. Let me see if I have got the right clip. See, kind of producer. It? Well, I don't know. I, 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 I introduced it, though. I said okay. she's in her natural habitat. It, I'll, I'll hit the button. Well, no, do the introduction video first. See? See? What? I don't know which one that one is. There was one where I said, I found need in her natural habitat. This is stuff we should probably talk about before we're recording and yeah. broadcasting, yeah. but it's cool. Okay. <laughs> Hold on one second. Let's see if this is it. Nope. See, there it is. Observe the natural guitarist in a habitat jamming. <laughs> oh, God, you, you're getting me on the sound again? Well, here it is. Nita in her natural okay. habitat. <laughs> there you go. I got a little clip of Nita doing her solo. And I think it sounded great, actually. Can't hear you, bro. Or is that what's happening now? Really? Are you hearing those clips really well? Yeah, I'm hearing them perfect. They sound great. Okay. Oh, really? Heather and Jen, Officer B. You know what it's why? Because you don't have biodynamic headphones. I didn't bring mine with me. The professional's choice. <laughs> it sounds great to me in my headphones. I'm telling you. Well, for all of those people out there that weren't able to hear these amazing clips, um, please blame Vic because um, I'm just merely the host of In the Trenches. And uh, there's our producer and sound engineer, Vic Chalfont, right yeah. there. But I maybe not the, for this show. <laughs> yeah, don't don't blame me for this one. I got the <laughs> clips at, what, what, two in the morning? Yeah, I know. I know. I had a lot of clips to, to send over and stuff like that. Um, damn. I saw uh, Kyler earlier today. There it is, Bob. Sounds fine. Bob McClafferty. And he's a he's a very big Ravens fan. So everything sounds fine to him after that game on Monday night. Thank you very much. Of course, Officer B's happy. Thank you guys for hearing us. Thank you guys for uh, being part of this tour kickoff special. Um, like I said, I'm going to bring everybody on right now just to say goodbye. This is it's been on so far. Ha ha! Didn't think you'd be on, did you? Oh, 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 caught you, caught you. So we turn you, the camera. We turn uh, the camera. We are uh, learning. Learning. Yes. All right. So, so we cannot wait for the show tonight. Yeah. So super excited. We've okay. waited a year and a half for this. A little over a year and a half. A little bit over a year and a half. So. Vic, I want you to do something real crazy because okay. because we don't normally do it on In the Trenches and, and it is time to do it because it is for the fans and for the supporters and for everybody that's, that's been patient with us to get back out on the road. And it is our tour kickoff special. Put out the link to the studio right now and we can have people come on and uh, just say hello. They want to, you know, wish any of the band members luck or want to well, promote yeah. want to promote their CBD oil like uh, Chuck did. <laughs> Did he give you that? Yeah, he gave it to me. And, uh, and this is like... A, I ordered some. It's actually it, really it good. smells good. Oh, so you got it already. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have some stuff we for you in the room. Too. I'm yeah. try it yet. Oh, I don't know if I'm you. allowed to use that. <laughs> see? You might not. You might get drug tested, huh? Oh. But, but see, yeah, the CBD won't have the THC. because yeah, I use, be okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't have the THC in it. It still works really well. CBD uh, don't got the THC. <laughs> the THC. You know, you feel me? You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. Yeah, you know me. Oh, yeah. Let's let's get some. There's Melanie. How you doing, darling? 
Turn right, your camera hello. sideways. Turn your camera <laughs> sideways. We had to learn yep. too. Hey, I have I have a grandchild that has messed with my settings and my phone won't turn. See? <laughs> oh. So I am just in the raw here. Y'all are just well, supposed to like I have no problem with that, Melanie, because you always <laughs> uh you always say I'm a rock god Roxy in your comments. Yeah. And I thank you for that. Thank you very much. All right. Who I else? Hate I'm not there, y'all. Uh, you'll come at one show at one point. Are you, are you planning on coming to any shows on this tour, Melanie? I've, are got, you... I've got three booths. I'll be in St. Louis on the first one. All right. We'll see you there. And you know what? We'll, we'll do some road check-ins with you guys. I know that, uh, Floriel, I, I always say your name wrong. I just, yeah. I, I, Florally. Florally. Okay. Yeah. Can, Vic, would you quit telling me to pronounce it wrong? It's Florally, I told you. But Florally, I know that you're in Europe. You're in. You're staying up a little bit late tonight. Um, well, it's not that late because it would be normally when I would do the podcast, yeah. but uh, at European time. But you're not coming to any of these U.S. shows. But uh, no, I've got a few dates in Europe. No worries. Well, both Kina and Florally. See, I yeah. got it right, Vic, despite <laughs> what you told me. And Dave over there downstairs. That's that's Dave Rat. That's the rat, folks. Um, hey, Dave, guys. There he is. Those we have our European contingency downstairs uh, uh, on the on the lower half of the screen. They're Dave, all did your, did your yeah. grandchild mess with the settings on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to turn look. <laughs> Yeah, you, you know what it is. Yeah. I'm. I was actually driving. I pulled over to say hi. You know. Nice. All right. So here's what's happening, Vic. You're gonna have to make a product producer's choice here because we're getting a lot of people yeah, that want to come in and and I and I like it. It's a free for all. It's a little bit of a mosh pit. Like in this sort of setting, we can all be <laughs> as close together as we want. We got we got a lot of countries uh, represented. We got the UK. We got Kina from Poland. Hello, Kina. How you doing? Hey, I'm great, guys. Have for fun today. I wish I could, I could be there. Well, you know what? We did too. We did too. We we Make wish it. it. But you know what? I don't know if a lot of you saw this, but a lot of uh, European dates got just got announced uh, yesterday. So, hey, I saw a tour with the Cult in the UK yeah. being there. I Italy. Have in Manchester. <laughs> I have tickets to Manchester already. I yeah. love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Federica's in the house. There she Hi. is. Italy in the house as well. Um, like I said, Vic, you're going to have to like, if, if you have to okay. say goodbye to somebody, you have to say goodbye, but uh, I'm going to have to give the hook to a few. And uh, Oh, that's right. You, get, you, you give <laughs> the hook. Vic I'll is not going to give the hook. I just work, so I'm okay. gone. Take care, Melanie. Bye. See you later. <laughs> So there it is. So and then Vic is giving the hook. I see Australia backstage. Boom. I see Kitty Oats. There she hey. is. <laughs> hey Kina. Hey everyone. Hey, hey. Got Rob yeah. there. Damn. Where are you from, Rob? Where is that is that Rob Nashville. going from Nashville? Dude. Yeah, Nashville. Your 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 pictures of your uh your wound are freaking me out, dude. <laughs> They're freaking me uh, out. So but well, you, uh, you want to show every oh there it is. Baby. You showed the open wound, dude. It was the open wound. It's awesome. There it is, uh, Rob, who is uh, in charge of the paint jobs uh, for a few of the guitars that I have out on the road right now. Obviously, the inventor of the Roxy Burst, that's Rob. He did that with the 339, as well as the vintage burst that you did. Uh, isn't that yours as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So there it is. How you doing, bud? Everything Okay. Hanging in there, full of pain pills. <laughs> well, look, are you full of this many pills? <laughs> these are, none of Close. these are pain pills, though. If you want to go back yeah. and check out my vitamin regimen, you can. <laughs> yes, I saw that earlier. I had to jump off and take care of some business, but yeah. I love it. So, well, I'm feeling uh, a little mellow. <laughs> will, we see you at a, will we see you at another show? We'll see you at a show on this tour? Uh, hopefully I'll be okay to get out, uh, by the Nashville show. Um, definitely looking at Montgomery, Birmingham and Tupelo. Got it. Got it. Nice, man. We'll see it. Vic is giving the hook to everybody. I'm Look, just, is that, I'm going to, I'm going to switch in. Lots of people. There's lots of people. Hey. Here. Yeah. Is that Rich Vandeman? Hey, hey. hey. In Southern California. There it is. Is everybody enjoying themselves? Oh my God. Dude. Oh yeah. Cats have been amazing. Absolutely yeah. amazing. The last two years. My God. Thank you. Thank well, you. I wish you guys would come to the show, though. Thank you, Rich. Well, you know what? West Coast is going to be in 2022 as well. You know? 
I yeah. think we're going to just have to wait for a little bit more because I think the most West we get on this tour is Texas. So yeah. well, and, I think and, I'm to Detroit, um, hopefully Detroit or Ohio. Cause I have family in Detroit, friends in Ohio and yeah. uh, to see Cooper in Detroit would be epic. Dude, so, that's our stomping grounds. Yeah. We do that stuff. We do uh, Detroit yeah. in our sleep, man. So we'll, I mean, I think we'll be there in just a couple of weeks, but yeah. uh, you know, keep an eye out on, on for the podcast and as well on, on the, the site ryanroxy.com you know the deal as vic goes crazy giving people the hook i love it i love vic he's just a revolving door of people giving the hook right now thanks very much rick for uh supporting us on the west coast kitty have a good one darling enjoy hey, australia before i go before i yep. go um uh, my mate mandy's trying to get on um to say hi she's going to be there tonight and for those that are going to be there she's front row somewhere but yeah, look out for her. Yeah. All right, and look I and I'll send you that. Guess. I'll send you that. I'll send you that little clip of Glenn Sobel solo because I know you Wait, probably want you. it to sleep with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she loves. She loves Glenn Sobel. Kitty. No, she, I love these drums. I don't care about Glenn. Anyone can. Uh, <laughs> 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 I would please? love to have a room next to Glenn so that I could hear the drums going to sleep. Oh my god, that would be. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. What <laughs> what one person's dream is another person's nightmare. I love it. Thank you, Kitty. See you, man. Right, see ya. Bye. Bye. Have a Bye. good one. I well, wanna say I wanna say something to Tina and Feddy. Hey. Uh I wanna say it's amazing to see like how many faithful are trekking out to see the guys on this North American run. I mean, Suzanne driving <laughs> seven hours. I wouldn't drive that for him. So, uh, <laughs> I should like, like, It's hard. It's so good. But, but the That's catch true. is, when they come over to Europe next year, we really need to show up and like yeah. make, make sure Europe does, does oh, as well yeah. as the US and we don't let For the sure. side down. It's the pilgrimage. And I think Harvey's driving to the gig right now. <laughs> Are you? You're driving right there, right? What's up? Yeah. Are you in your kitchen? <laughs> what, what is there? Was there uh, like? I'm in my work. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. So from heart, is that a an unmarked white van with a toilet paper dispenser or a fucking? <laughs> Harvey, there's so many questions I have. There's so many questions I have, but I'll wait till you get down to Atlantic City to ask them. Drive safe, all right, buddy. I'm in my driveway. I'm just sitting oh. in my van. I just, got, <laughs> I just got done setting up gear for the dead daisies tomorrow. Hey. Oh, hey. I got the, dead, I got the it, dead daisies show. Well, Harvey, it's funny that you would say that because we have we have a very special announcement. Next week, we have a mystery guest on In the Trenches, and we'd like to show a picture of that mystery guest. <laughs> All right? We will announce our mystery guest on Monday, but you just gave a very, very big clue of to who it might be. So if you're watching this podcast right now, back to that mystery guest on next Monday, we will announce our uh, guest for in the trenches. Harvey, enjoy your time working with the, um, and why we have all these fans out in, in supporters and, and, you know, lovers of the podcast, lovers of Alice Cooper, lovers of uh, Glenn Sobel, maybe not Glenn Sobel's drums, lovers of rock and roll. Thank you very much, Tommy, for the shirt. Um, let's let's announce the fan of the week, shall we? All right, because this week's fan of the week is Vic Bowie. Claudia, there you go, Claudia. Man of the week. You've done so well with all the promo, right? We had Amanda Brown. I saw Amanda Brown in the uh, in the in the uh, chat earlier. She was around uh, you know, a couple of weeks, the fan of the week. So there you go. All you guys deserve to be, be to be you know immortalized somehow, and you probably will at some point. So you never know when you will or when you won't. But thank you guys so much for supporting. It's uh it's been a it's been a hell of an episode. Are you guys happy with it? 
Oh yeah. 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 Awesome. Uh, you guys are just as much a part of it. Next week, we're going to go back to having some guests. And uh, like I said, we have that mystery guest. You don't know who it is. Harvey, Har Harvey gave us a nice little clue, but uh, everybody that showed up today, as far as our live guests, as far as all the clips that we were able to uh, compile, I'll have more road reports uh, as the weeks go on and the tour goes on. But Hey, Tonight, let's celebrate uh, opening night for Alice Cooper Tour 2021, all right? And uh, can we do something uh, real quick, all of us at the same time on three, the way I sign off every single podcast? We love you guys. We thank you for being in the trenches. But until next time, one, two, three. Enjoy, Enjoy the, ride. the ride. Enjoy the ride. Trenches with Ryan Roxy.